What is coming for you is remarkable. And I mean remarkable. This is going to be so beautiful and, and you can't even imagine what is on the way. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. Let's take a look at what the guided messages are for you. Now, what they're showing me, obviously we know Aquarians, you have been through all kinds of things, especially over the last two to three years. For some of you, it has been your entire life. You're a humanitarian, which means you fight for the underdog. You look to help those that need help and you become the underdog. And because of that, you're that square peg trying to fit in a round hole. And it has always led you into a repetitive cycle. Now, it doesn't matter if you're growing in this avenue of your life or maybe this one. Okay, it matters you as a soul. That is where the remarkable change is coming in. And with it comes all the kudos. So let's take a look at you guys deep as we look further into this. And I see people in the shadows. Let me pull these cards for you real quick. So it doesn't, yeah, we got the, we got the, I'm not even, gonna, I'm going to stop right there. We have the eight of swords. Okay. And this is feeling stuck and trapped. And that's what you've been going through this cycle of feeling stuck and trapped, waiting for the endings of these people, waiting to break free of what has been holding you back so that you can step into your own glory. So you can step into this remarkable new path. Now you may be right there or even actually cross the line, but it only goes so far. You don't get to go higher. Your ceiling is low, but what is happening is this change, all right, in the month of November, especially during Scorpio season, which is the time frame that I'm looking at in this reading, you are going to be amazed at what comes through. Now, I feel some of you, especially if you were dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus individual, um, there's you, you. This had to do with your career. It had to do with your love life, and that's what's changing. Is this new path is going to be broader and. Okay, your guides are saying they're going to they're going to highlight the detail for you as you get on this path and you're going to see it. It's going to feel like your heart just opened. It's going to feel like your money just opened. Like all of these different things are opening up for you and you're going to say, "Whoa." You're going to sit down. You're going to have to sit down because it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be remarkable and so beautiful all at the same time. This transitional phase that you've been going through was very, very challenging indeed. Because there is that, that you know, as a fellow Aquarian, I know we can get very stuck. We know what works. We can be the emperor, right? We can act like the card of the emperor, which represents we know what works and we know how to do it. We can read other people really well. We can tell you what's coming, whether we know we're doing it intuitively or not. We just can see outside of the box. We have an incredible, Aquarius, you are incredible about seeing that but not necessarily for yourself. The timing can be off. It can shift. It can change. And that's where the bewilderment comes in. So let's pull a little bit of detail on this when it comes to life overall in general, because this is going to be epic, truly, truly remarkable. We have the sun card and that's what I'm talking about. You're giving birth and you're starting a new beginning. You're starting a new path. You're growing your existing path that you've already risen into this path. And now it's going to change again. You're on a stairway and that's what they're showing me. And I think I, I may have said this in Aquarius reading uh, for the entire month, my full November reading. But you are on the stairway that is just leading you to a completely different direction. Now, we have the King of Swords and you do, you know, you represent the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. And we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and I feel for a lot of you in the Leo season, this is when things started to feel a little bit different. You may have been feeling backwards, like, wait, I thought everything was working. Wait, this isn't what's going on with my business. What's going on with my career? What's going on with my love life? Feeling like the light of, of, of life, the excitement, that passion inside of you to, to feel 
as though everything was going well, pulled back a little bit. Okay. And it is, and it could be a year ago in Leo season, a year ago, but for a lot of you, it was just this last Leo season. And you started saying, questioning your judgment, questioning your own abilities. Is this the right path for me? And they're saying, absolutely. So if you've been feeling stuck, then just know that this is getting ready to change and it's going to be dynamic for you. Truly, it's going to be dynamic. We're going to look at the people around you. I've named a few people. We definitely have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but we have a magician card here and this is where everything is going to take place right here at the end of this time frame. So I'm doing this reading for two to four weeks for you guys as we move forward. This is going to be incredible. This is the magician saying that everything is in balance. You're not going to be hovering in the air too much. We get lost in our thoughts and we can't really ground our ideas. We can't feel grounded, feeling a little bit foggy in the brain. All of these things, especially with the eclipses and all of these things that have been taking place that are not normal in our regular lives. These are changing. So we've got this beautiful uh, balance of the air, the earth, the fire, and the water. Everything, your mind, your logic, your heart, you're going to be open. You're going to be open to receiving. Now, the beautiful part is I see these people are fading away. The people that were holding you back, the ones that hurt you. Everything that has to do with your past, some of you, it is disintegrating. Photographs are fading away, like literally melting in front of you. Open up that book and you're afraid to pull the plastic back off of the, the album, the photo album, because you don't know what's going to happen because they're all being removed. This Ace of Swords is clearing a pathway that is going to be remarkable remarkable january is going to be a big month for a lot of you and next year you know you're protected okay aquarians you are protected spiritually protected and it doesn't always feel that way again because of what i explained in the beginning of who who the aquarius represents and what your purpose here is that is a big deal one that is very misunderstood by people because you are so warm ooey and gooey particularly to those that you love, but you'll help anyone. We have the Queen of Swords. You've got a new beginning. Some of you, you are cutting all those people away. It may be the ones that I mentioned, but we have the King of Wands right here. The King of Wands, again, is talking about the charisma about you. You're going to meet somebody that's going to help you finalize this part of your journey. That's going to give you an offer that is going to say, look, I see you over here. Why aren't you over here? You don't belong over there. Get away from those people. Get away from that career or that project. That's not where you belong. This person is going to show you the way. Now, it also came up, I believe it was Virgo's reading, that this particular character, the King of Wands, played a role, a very big role in Virgo. So if you have Virgo in your chart, which most of us do, but if you're dealing with a Virgo, check that out. You're going to cut a new path. And those of you who are dealing with a, um, a fire sign or anybody who has been not forthcoming is what your guides are saying, not forthcoming, you, they're gone. These people are leaving. They are leaving anybody that crossed you, anybody that was sneaky in, in the background, they are gone. And in January, if, uh, if you're not feeling it yet, you are moving into this brand new path. Now I'm going to pull a little bit more cards here because this is just too simple. There's got to be something a little bit more complex, right? Let's see a little bit more detail of what's going on. And I'll check out the career side and project side as well. They were in and out of your life. This person, careers, everything, everything comes in. It marches in. It's super exciting. And then it's gone. And we have the Ace of Swords again. Everything is leading back to January, you guys. It's going to be fabulous. All right. It's going to be incredible. And when I say this, this doesn't mean that you're going to be instantly wealthy. That's not it. And that's really not who you are. I mean, some of you obviously are, but that's not really the humanitarian aspect of what we're looking at where the true you is going to just be like here i am whatever you're meant to march in whatever is exciting to you you're going to do that and you're going to start it at the end of the year you're going to start it in the next two to four weeks or finalize it 
for some of you, but most of you are going to start it and then finalize it by January. This is new, new endeavors, new career, new projects, especially if it has to do with being a humanitarian. Some of you, I do feel it is around animals. You're going to be setting up animals and, and shelters and finding new homes for, um, I see a lot of puppies. <laughs> I love puppies. I love animals. Um, but they're showing me a lot of puppies where this is going to take place and it's going to be incredible. Whoever it was that was in and out of your life causing havoc, this may have been even a child, an adult child who comes in and out of your life and doesn't necessarily uh, do you well. Like they leave you feeling raw and vulnerable and worn out. This adult child is not going to be doing this in the future. No, it is not. Whether you learn to live afar or you guys have a major conference, a major conversation, and I feel for a lot of you, you will be doing that. You are overcoming adversities and success is coming through. That's the whole energy of the reading right there, those two cards. So let me pull another card for you and then we'll pull an angel message. Oh my goodness, courage. That's what I'm talking about courage and that's what you need in order to move forward i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence you will always be a fearless leader you always have been but now you're going to do it for you it's about you right now it's no longer about other people and the universe has cleared out these people they are literally i see them as shadows a little faded in the background i can't even identify who it is, what they look like. That's what's going on. Everything is being cleared out for you so that you have this moment to make this huge leap of faith and go into something that is remarkable. Some of you, it will be love. Some of you, it will be a new career. But whatever it is, it is going to be amazing. Your desired outcome will come in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Just be you, Aquarius. Just be you. Much love.